Welcome to another WooCommerce tutorial from How to Webmaster. Today I'm going to show you how to set up Stripe Payment Gateway to accept credit cards with your WooCommerce store. When you first set up WooCommerce, it will have already asked you to set up Stripe. And if you don't have it installed, uh, go to Plugins, Add New, and then search for WooCommerce Stripe, just like this and it will show up right here WooCommerce Stripe Payment Gateway let's install now and let's click activate and you can see it already installed right here the WooCommerce Stripe Gateway and I already have the WooCommerce PayPal Checkout Gateway as well and you can see my setup video on that see the link below this video and let's click on settings for the WooCommerce Stripe Gateway and you can also access this payment settings for Stripe. If you click on settings under the WooCommerce menu here and click on payments at this header menu here and you can see several options for payments. I've already have the PayPal checkout enabled and currently the Stripe credit card payment option is also enabled here and we also have these other stripe payment options for international shop owners so in order to use stripe you will need to have a stripe account you can sign up by clicking on this link here and then get your stripe account keys in order to use the stripe plugin with woocommerce and the account is free to sign up and now let's click on manage so here are some settings for Stripe. Let's uh, keep this checked for enabling Stripe. And then the title, you can name it whatever you want. This will show, this will be seen by the customer. And also the des description will, can also be seen by the customer as well. So now below here, you will need to add this following webhook URL to your Stripe account settings so that Stripe can send you notifications on payment statuses. So let me click on this. So once you've already logged in to your Stripe account, click on add endpoint here. So here we have to enter in the endpoint URL. So let's copy and paste that from our Stripe settings here. Copy exactly like that and paste it in here. Okay, just like that and make sure you select the version to be the latest API and events to send click on the charge right here with 13 events and then down here at endpoint and okay it's enabled and live let's go back here and now we need to get our keys and I'm not going to enable the test mode I will just leave it unchecked so that is live and let's get our live keys and secret key and you can click this link up here to get your stripe account keys and here's your your key and secret key and you may have to click here to review the live key token and so do that and copy your keys down and paste it into your woocommerce settings and the webhook secret can be found from your webhook the one that we just added here and it's actually down here in the signing secret so you have to click here to review the key and then copy and paste that okay so I pasted in the webhook secret here okay so I pasted in all the keys and secret webhook secret so now do you want your customer to enter the credit card at your site which will have this credit card form or do so from the stripe website i like to uh, keep the customer on my site as much as possible so i'll have an inline credit card form displayed on my checkout page and the statement descriptor this will show up in the customer's credit card statement so you can enter in your store name here and make sure you check capture charge immediately and this one if enabled 
the customer can pay with Apple Pay or Chrome payment and this is up to you to decide if you want to have those options but to keep things simple I will just leave it unchecked so that way they either use the PayPal or through credit card and enable payment via save cards so don't worry these are saved on Stripe server and logging the debug messages this is for debugging for developers so just leave this unchecked so let's save changes alright the settings are saved let's check out a product and see how the new payment with Stripe look actually first I will have to disable PayPal checkout just to see how Stripe looks by itself okay so here's my cart page it's got a couple items added let's proceed to checkout and here is the credit card with Stripe payment so now the customer can enter in their billing and shipping and then enter the credit card here and they can choose to save the payment for future purchases and then place order and let's enable PayPal as well just to see how it looks so let's refresh this page so if you have multiple payment options gateway so PayPal is up here so the customer can choose either PayPal or they can choose credit card with Stripe and that's how it looks and okay that's all thanks so much for watching be sure to subscribe to how to webmaster for more woocommerce tips tricks and tutorials thanks again and until next time happy selling